going to build a wall. It's going to be built. We're going to build a wall, folks. We're going to build a wall. Don't worry, we're going to build the wall. That wall will go up so fast, your head will spin. And you'll say, you know, he meant it. Are you ready? Are you ready? We will build a great wall along the southern border. Guys, it's Oaks, your brother from the US. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Only one click away, my friend. It doesn't cost you anything, but it helps your brother a lot. Thank you so much. Today, I'm happy. I am happy to tell you that the wall of Thomas Tuco is getting completed. The southern border is going to be a big wall. <laughs> Wesley Fofana, as I am recording this video, is having his medical in London right now. You know what? At the beginning of this season, right? If you told me that we were going to end up by Kalidu Kulibali, Wesley Fofana, Marco Kurela, I was never going to believe you. I was going to tell you to get out because you are a liar. <laughs> but look at us. It cost us a lot of money though. But it's a, it's a risk that we have to take because we don't have any choice. We lost two quality defenders for free. Thank you, Marina Granovskaya. And we have no choice but to spend a lot of money on salaries and also on transfer fee so some random topics today while we are building the wall we are trying also to break some part of the wall too Eton Ampadu is going to Italy according to Fabrizio Romano here I don't know what the kid need to do what else he need to do in order to get a chance at Chelsea Football Club I feel really sorry I feel bad for the kid he tried, but he never ever given a, a chance at Chelsea Football Club. So you can't really judge him without giving him a chance. I wanted at least to give him until January. And let's see how it goes. I'm gutted, bro. I am gutted right now. And you can say whatever you want. There is nothing wrong by expressing your opinion i don't have to follow and copy paste what other people are thinking about the academy this is the way i am i work with the kid i coach the kid i feel sorry about them i give them a chance that is my life and you won't change that ampadu deserves a chance so he already agreed personal terms with uh oh, ampadu man ampadu so more details are coming your way let me know in the comment section down below what do you think about this deal so we are lacking a dm we are suffering right now you know we see physically how we are in that position but we decide to play certain players who can't do any wrong but ampadu we don't want to even give him one game one full game at chelsea football club thank you chelsea and listen Ethan. Good luck, my brother. I wish that he can really go there and prove people wrong. I want to sell him. I don't want to even loan him out anymore. You know what I mean? Sell him. Allow him to have a permanent home so he can be developed. Because when he goes on loan, it's just to help. To help to fight for relegation or something. But it's not to develop him. So it's time to let him go. Let me know what you think about Empadu. And uh, this one is a good news, though. Chaluba is going to stay at Chelsea Football Club. And look at that. Every time this brother makes a mistake, people want to kill him. It's going to be, oh, look at the academy, English. Wah, wah, wah. You, you, we, we know how it goes. But the guy played 21 appearances for Chelsea Football Club, 14 wins, scored three goals, never lost a game when he's playing for Chelsea. But at the end, somebody to scapegoat is him always so it tells you that 
some of the hate that the kid is getting online has nothing to do with football. It's just something to do with xenophobia, you know, jealousy, because we foreigners, we hate local boys. I know I'm a foreigner too. So I understand, I know my friend and I see the comment that I get every single day in videos just because they don't feel represented by those local boys. They are apparently hyped by the media. What is wrong by hyping somebody? It's not hype because it, uh, people are proud of their local boys. It's about business. It's about encouraging your boys. You will never ever put a guy from your country down, would you? Think about it. So it is what it is. Anyways, people, we're going to continue some random topics here. So Chaloba to stay, but that is not like Thomas Tuchel wanted to keep him. But it looks like he doesn't have any choice. Look at what Fabrizio Romano said here, right? Chaloba will not leave Chelsea after talks with, uh, with Inter, AC Milan and Leipzig over possible loan deal. Chelsea have blocked the move and no change is now expected before the deadline. Tuko and Boeli are decided on keeping Chaloba after internal talks. Internal talks. You don't have, you don't need any talk to keep somebody like Chaloba in your team. Last season, he stayed because we didn't buy Kunde. This season, he was going to be shipped out if we got uh, every target that we wanted before. So he's going to stay again, not by choice, by, but by circumstance, but he's going to continue to prove people wrong. You like him or not, he's here to stay. So, uh, yeah, it is what it is, man. It, it just hurt me to see how certain kids are treated at Chelsea Football Club. Aubameyang is coming, people. <clears throat> We are progressing slowly and surely. I see this, this deal happening, you know. Don't worry, Oba is coming. And Arsenal fans, you should be very afraid. Be worried because he's coming for you. Some care. Look at, look at her. There, the agent. Our agent is some care. Taking care of business. Anyways, all, this, all the jokes aside... He's not my number one choice, but if the manager wants him, he knows how to use him, and he's going to score goals, especially against Arsenal and Tottenham. I'm okay with that. But also, don't forget to give a chance to uh, our youngsters, <laughs> especially Armando Broja. Like I said, this video is going to be freestyle, my friends. Just checking over internet what is happening so we can... Um, we can have a conversation. Listen, let me also talk about uh, a deal that is going, is impossible. Somebody made up some uh, stupid, stupid really, um, stupid comment about something, right? Look at this. This is impossible. I don't see this happening. Okay. <laughs> Listen, so according to Football Insider here, they say that Chelsea are going to pay 25 million cash plus Kano Gallagher and Armando Broja in order to get Anthony Gordon. So the total price for this kid here from Everton is 85 million. People, tell me if somebody is smoking something in the office. If this happen, okay, it's going, it's going to be, it's going to be even worse than the Bruna and Salah back in the day. I'm telling you right now, if we ever, ever try to do this, I'm done. I'm not going to believe anybody in that board, in the coaching staff at Chelsea Football Club, I'm done with them. How the hell this is possible? I think this is a just paper talk because people want attention the bigger the liar the more people will believe that is the way it works in life 
you can make up if you make up a small lie people small people are gonna listen to you but if you make it so big like this people are going to listen to you and they are gonna follow you they're gonna click and see how big the liar is so people i don't believe on this one but i've seen chelsea do crazy things in the past and i'm not gonna be surprised it is what it is it's a chelsea thing